What's going on, everyone? Hunter Dool here from Philly Insider Podcast. Philly's got the win yesterday. I'm wearing the Nola shirt. He did kind of fall off a little bit towards the end of his outing. We'll get into that, but I want to talk about the positives first. Let's get into the lineup a little bit. Kyle Schwarber, I don't have any evidence that I predicted it, but I was feeling it because the energy was there from when Kutch did it a few years ago. Energy was way better than that, actually. I mean, they sold out yesterday. I could not believe that. Um, it's really the first time we've kind of felt this since 2011, but Schwarber got a hold of the pitch, took it to the yard, and you know that that just started the day. You knew we were going to win after that, <laughs> um, but it did get a little dicey at some points. But anyway, moving through the lineup a little bit, look, I mean, it was really just moved down the line after that like we we didn't have a ton of big hits but they just kept moving the chain you know um harper had a really big really big double you know to left center field i was a little mad he tested the arm i mean he got he ended up getting in there but you know i i feel like now you know i think there's i like his over aggressiveness at times but i think there's also times to tone it back a little bit and say hey now we've got castellanos behind me we've got a lot of depth in the lineup I don't need to be this guy to try to get into scoring position every time, right? So that's something I'm going to be watching a little bit. It's game one. I mean, it was it ended up working out beautifully, so I'm not too mad about it. You know, Hoskins had a good day, a couple hits there. You know, a really nice single to help us, you know, get back, um, you know, pat onto the lead a little bit. And, yeah, I mean, Gregorius had a nice RBI single there to drive Hoskins in. Just a good piece of hitting against the shift, too. Segura had a hit yesterday. I love Segura. I'm really looking forward to, you know, seeing him play this year. And, you know, Bryson Stott with two hits yesterday, one that didn't end up scoring anyone, but it was a beautiful, beautiful way to get your first major league hit. And then second one, of course, kind of helped us cement the lead. So, um, and also Veerling, I want to shout out Veerling. Look, he had two really big, or yeah, two really nice hits to start the game. Unfortunately, they had him, they, they had him positioned perfectly with Piscotti out in right field. But those are two very, very well hit balls. And one of them ended up being a sack fly. That's all you need from a guy in the nine hole to turn it back over to Schwarber at the top, right? So he did his job. And and then Castellanos, the one guy who I didn't talk about, look, three strikeouts, but then he comes up clutch with that double, you know, try to stretch it into a triple, but he comes up clutch, helps us cement the lead as well. And we, we end up winning the game because of that. So um, yeah, that was huge. All these guys contributed in the lineup. It was, it was a massive thing to see. And JT, even JT got a hit, he got a walk, getting on base, scored a run. You know, that's, that's what we need from him at the two hole. So yeah, all these guys contributed. It was great to see them just move down the line. Hey, let's just move runners, right? We're not going to try to do anything, fa anything fancy. We're going to have plenty of time for that throughout the year to hit just bombs over and over again, right? So, yeah, great job by the lineup today. Yeah, and as far as the pitching goes, look, Nola, I know he did give up that home run. I mean, you can see that, you know, once it gets to the kind of that third time around the lineup, teams start to figure him out a little bit. He starts to run out of gas, and, it, you know, it was, it was his first outing, so... He didn't really go that long. I think he threw almost 80 pitches, just a little bit under. So, yeah, obviously something to watch a little bit as he, you know, hopefully works up, ramps up the workload a little bit. But with the run support he had, we were able to get it done. And and he cruised up until that point. I mean, that's I know that's kind of been the story of Aaron Nola. Everyone's tired of hearing that. But, look, credit to him. He had some really nice he had some really nice pitches and, and set-up pitches as well. Um, and, and, and some finishing pitches, too. Like, that was something we got on him last year was not being able to finish 0-2 counts. He did that a good amount of time yesterday. So props to him. I, I still want to credit him. He had a good day, but got to limit the home runs this year. That wasn't a good sign to see that pop up again. And then as far as the bullpen goes, look, familiar in hand. I know they gave up a run. Um, it got a little bit dicey there. You know, run was obviously on the error by Stott and Hoskins. So that's something that's got to get cleaned up. But hey, at the end of the day, they got the job done. They both got a, a you know a strikeout each and um, they were able to get out of the inning. So that's all that matters. Dominguez, Sir Anthony Dominguez looked, I mean, he looked incredible yesterday. It looked like the old Dominguez we had seen before the surgery, which I was not expecting to see. I, I, I didn't, you know, I, I think his velocity was definitely better this spring, but I didn't know if I was expecting him to just come in and just be lights out like that. Props to him. That is such an encouraging sign. If he can pitch like that, that is going to be a really, really crucial part of this bullpen moving forward. And then Knebel, I mean, at the end of the game, two strikeouts. It was, it was he, made, he made light work of the, the A's at the back end of the game. So, just a beautiful game all around, guys. I love to see it. Um, it was really, it was really special to just see the Phillies come out in front of a sellout crowd, you know, almost blow the game, but perform the way they did and be able to close it out. Yeah, just a special opening day to start what is hopefully a really, really special season. And speaking of which, we've got game two today. We got a familiar foe in Cole Irvin coming to town. Yeah, so I mean, look, obviously our guys have probably gotten practice at bats against him in spring and stuff like that, but. 
you know, we really haven't had too many guys face off against him. I know Schwarber has, he's two for three with a double. Maybe he can do something again this time, you know, this year. We'll see the small sample size though. So who knows? The rest of the guys, yeah, I, I mean, haven't seen him, but, you know, obviously they've got their scouting report on him. Urban's not really going to like, he's not really going to wow you with, you know, high velocity or anything like that, but he's a guy who's, look, he's able to get guys to chase and he's able to locate where he wants to locate from, at least from what we saw from last year, you know. Definitely started the year a little better than he finished, but, you know, he still had a really, really solid season last year. And guys I'm watching in the Phillies lineup today, as far as that goes, I'm going to be watching Castellanos. He has a really good track record against lefties, like phenomenal track record, actually. I think he's going to have a good day and bounce back from his first three at-bats yesterday, carry what he did in the second or the last at-bat into this game. And, yeah, I'm also going to be watching Reese. Not as good against lefties as Castellanos, but I think he will do some damage today and be able to be able to drive some guys in. So, yeah, I'm looking at those guys. I'm looking at Boom making his uh, 2021 debut, coming off of what was, you know, obviously not the best year last year. So even if he can if he can take advantage against the lefty and be able to take advantage of an opportunity to start as well. So, yeah, those are the guys I'm looking at. Also, just on defense, you know, Boom, that's going to be big today. We have Kyle Gibson on the mound. He's going to get some ground balls. Can Boom be able to just manage and, and weather the storm and not make any crucial mistakes? You know, Didi as well. Can we see Didi just you know, buckle down. I'm, I know DD was fine yesterday, but talking about last year, DD was not the best at, at defense on shortstop. So yeah, Gibson, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing him pitch today. He's definitely going to get the ball on the ground. I think he's going to do fine. I feel good about Gibson starting the season. And yeah, guys, that's pretty much my thoughts on game one and then going into game two. Let me know if you guys have any comments, questions, concerns, and we'll be doing a post game again after game two. Hopefully I'll get Nate or Ian or someone else on here with me, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Ring the bell. Smash the bells. the Phillies are trying to trademark right now. But, yeah, we'll see you guys later. MB3, God bless y'all.